to talk to you about the Pit Boss Pro Series Pellet Smoker Grill. It's a really cool grill. It's one of the only ones that we could find that actually has um, the pellets that smoke. Um, and then there's the propane grill. And then on the side, we have a little stove top. It did not come with the propane tank. And it doesn't come with the buckets on the bottom there either. But I'm going to just kind of go over all that this grill includes. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first part I want to talk to you is the actual pellet hopper. So the, you can see on the, you can see right here on the front, there's actually a thermometer control. We have some thermometers that will plug into the meat. And what's really cool about it is that you can actually turn it on and then monitor from an app that um, you can install onto your phone or iPad or whatever it is. So that's a great way to be in the house where it's a little bit cooler and monitoring your meat that's out in the smoker. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and look inside and see what we've got in there. And you can see I've already got pellets in here and what I need to do is I need to get rid of these pellets because I actually wanna put a different flavor in there. Okay, so we're gonna come around the back here and we actually have a little um, cover here that we're going to take off and then you can see right here we're going to twist this and we're going to go ahead and pull out the plate and that's going to release the pellets and so that it will actually drop into the bucket. There's a little cover and I'm going to go ahead and release that plate and hopefully they'll all come pouring out. This is the first time we've done it so let's see. So you definitely want to get like a little fork or a big fork, something, some big stick, something so that you can go ahead and scoop the rest of those pellets out. And the other thing that I want to mention is that you do need to be close to an electrical outlet. Uh, we have a long extension cord because that's what's going to run your um, thermometer that's in the, your gauges that are in the front. So now that it's empty, we're going to go ahead and add our apple pellets so that we can cook some pork. <laughs> All right, so we've refilled the smoker pellets with uh, apple flavored pellets, and you can see these buckets are really handy to use. So I have a video on these pellets. If you're interested, you can go ahead and check out the link below. So, so this part of it is the actual smoker. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take out that top grill right there because we have a big piece of pork that we're gonna stick in there and we don't want that in the way. And then over here on the side, um, there's actually a pool lever so that allows how much smoke is going to go in or out of your smoker. All right so then this part is the actual propane grill so you know this is where we're going to cook our chicken today and the cool thing about this is that actually there's actually a little lever over here and you can pull that and that allows the smoke from the smoker to flow into um, the propane part of it as well. You can see down on the bottom you've got the um, controls to control your um, temperatures inside your grill and then over to the side here there is a burner and this is really something that you're going to use more for warming up foods it's not going to be like no not cooking a full course meal but again you've got your controls on the bottom there and that is ran by the propane as well for the one thing to note about it is that right here for the igniter you actually do need to pull that out when you first get it and you need to install a battery unscrew it and then install a battery in it so just something to keep in mind if you're having trouble um, igniting your propane then you might want to check your battery in your igniter. Another thing that I didn't mention over here with the propane is there is actually a shelf that you can open up so that's kind of handy to have. If we're looking down below the storage space is pretty sufficient. There is actually a, a Y or a rod that went across, but we removed that in order to fit the buckets that we purchased. These are a three and a half gallon buckets that we're using for our pellet chips. And then it does have a grease can holder that comes down on the bottom and it has a holder over on the side for um, the propane tank. But like I said, it does not come with the actual tank. That can actually um, collects both the grease and or ash. The other thing I wanted to note is that this is a really heavy grill. And so the fact that it comes on rolling wheels is very, 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 very handy. So when it does come, it is not assembled. So it does take some time to assemble this whole thing. Just a key point to note. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna cook some pork today. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and get our smoker going. Go ahead and turn the smoker on. If this is the first time that you've um, started it, then you wanna make sure that you're going to hit your auger button, which is right in the middle there. And you wanna make sure that you get that going so that some of the pellets, I 
right down there. Okay, so some of the pellets will drop into your smoker grill. We've already used this grill before, so we've already got some pellets in there. So what we're gonna do also is we're gonna go ahead and set, set our temperature to 200. And you can just kind of dial that on. And the, for us, we're out here in the middle of the desert, so our temperatures run a little bit higher uh, we're probably about 10 degrees off. We actually want ours to, our pork to be cooking from 200 to 250. So we're gonna start off with 200 and then we'll just monitor it. And we can hear that our smoker grill is warming up now. All right, so you can see that we've got the flame going here. The, it's definitely burning the pellets down below. So we're gonna go ahead and close this little lever here because we wanna make sure we don't get any flare ups. And we're gonna go ahead and let our temperature get to the 200. We're only at 132 right now. Okay, so our grill is at 200 now. I went ahead and I got my pork roast ready. This is actually a pork shoulder blade roast with the bone in, and I got this at Safeway, so you can watch out and get some really good deals. And then I just have a basic barbecue rub on it, and you can see the link below if you're interested in the recipe for that um, rub. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in the two thermometers that are included with the grill, and this will be allow us to go ahead and monitor the temperature of our pork while it's cooking. We're just there's two little holes there that we're going to go ahead and stick it in. You can see that the temperature on the smoker is rising really quickly. That's because it's almost 100 degrees out here, so that probably adds to the temperature of the actual grill. We went ahead and put our pork in the smoker, and you can see that we went ahead and put the two prongs. And over here on the side, there's two little holes, so you just actually put put it through the grill and then plug it into your meat. And now we're going to go ahead and monitor it on the app, but if you look over here, in real life it's really not blinking, so if you see it blinking, um, that's just the recording. So opening up the grill did drop our temperature, so now we're at 172, and then over on the side, you can see the temperature of the meat. So it's only 39 and 37 degrees, that's where the prongs are inserted into the meat. I wanna show you the app that I'm actually using to monitor my pit boss. So I went ahead and typed smoke it on the filters because that's what this is. This app is called. I am using my iPad. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open smoke it. And it's gonna take me to the home screen. This is really a very basic app. And my whole two reasons for using it are really just to monitor my grill and maybe to look at the um, recipes. I actually, I'll go to recipes first. I am, there's not a whole lot, I'll go back for a minute. Um, you can see there's not a whole lot. It looks like there's some more that you can choose for. I'm doing the pulled pork, and really what I wanted to get was not the whole recipe. I am just looking at the, the temperatures, so that's there. But what I'm really going to do is I'm going to monitor my grill. So down on the bottom here, you can see grill. And this gives me um, the two probes. Right now, my grill is at 228 which is fine because I'm looking at between 200 and 250, so I'm good. And then I'm looking at my probes. My first probe is at 62, and my second probe is at 33. This is Bluetooth. You can see it's Wi-Fi connected. So that's the way I can go ahead and um, monitor my grill. And if I go to grill controls, I can actually um, raise my temperature. You can see right now I've got it at 200, and it um, is at 228, but if I wanted to raise that or lower that, I could um, play with that a bit. All right, so that is just the app. Okay, so while we have the smoker going, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start our chicken because our pork is almost done. We want to make sure we get that chicken infused with the smoke as well. So we're going to go ahead, open the cover, grill cover up, we're going to turn the burners onto high and then we're gonna go ahead and hit the ignite button. And it started right up. Now you wanna make sure that you've got your propane tank turned on before you try this, because if not, it's not gonna start. So we're gonna go ahead and put our chicken on now. I didn't really do anything special with my chicken. I just seasoned it with salt, pepper, and garlic salt. We're gonna go ahead and open the um, vent up a little bit so that we can get the smoke going through it. And then we're also going to turn down <laughs> turn down our burners because we don't want to keep them on high, probably to a, a medium. 
So I went ahead and closed the grill up and you can see that the gauge on it, it's climbing really quick. I'm gonna go ahead and cook our chicken to about 165 to 175. You know, once it gets going, I'm gonna flip it over and just nothing special, just have some good grilled chicken when we're done. If you find that your temperature gauge is climbing too quickly and it's getting too hot in there, then go ahead and turn your burners down like we did. We went ahead and turned them down to low. And you can kind of, I don't know if you can see it, um, because we're out here in the middle of the desert and the wind's blowing a little bit, but there's actually the smoke, you can see the smoke coming out. So the smoke is going in and infusing that chicken, so that should be yummy, yummy. So my chicken is looking really good, really yummy. Um, now this part of the grill does not have the meat thermometer, the prongs that you can use for the char for the propane grilling. So what I use is I use my Taylor thermometer. I do have a video on this if you want to check it out. I'll put the link below, but it's already 90, um, 99 degrees out here. I haven't even put it in the meat yet, but I'm going to go ahead and check my meat because it looks like it's pretty much done. So my meat is already done. I'm going to go ahead and take it off the grill and there we go. All right, so this pork shoulder has been cooking for about nine hours. If you want this, your meal um, to be smoked and ready for dinner, you definitely want to start it early on in the morning. We started at 9.15 and so nine hours is past dinner time, I'm hungry. Um, so one great thing is that it, you, know, you have the temperature prongs where you can just sit inside the house and watch how it's cooking without being out here the whole day in the heat. But what we found was that there was actually two different temperatures reading on this um, pork shoulder. So one was about 20 degrees higher than the other one. But again, I just pulled out my Taylor thermometer and uh, it's no big deal. I could figure out the real temperature. And then if, you know, since I know one runs about 20 degrees higher, I can either just in my mind calculate that when I'm using it or if I've got two plugged in, I know to go with the lower one. If I find that it really is not working, I could always replace it, not really a big deal. I wanted to mention that we only filled the pellets up in the morning and the one full basket lasted the whole nine hours without any problems. So this Pit Boss Pro Series grill is kind of expensive, but it was really one of one of the only ones we could find that's got the smoker pellets, the propane grill, the extra burner, the storage. We just really love it. And it's just so diverse. You can cook, you know, anything that you want on there, your steak, your chicken, your um, ribs. We're just going to definitely have a fun time using this. The great thing is that you can sit in your house and you can just let it cook and really not worry about it. The other thing that I wanted to mention was that it does you can purchase a grill cover that is perfectly fitted to fit this grill and so that's something that you would definitely want to invest in. When you're done cooking you're just going to do the one touch and just go ahead and power that off and then you're all set. Let it go to it'll go through a cool down period and then you're all set. So I hope you find this video helpful and thanks for watching.